My name is Kunal Kalani and I'm a first year student at the MH Food Engineering course at Sheffield Hallam University. And my name is Andy Rawstone. I'm the course leader for the MH Food Engineering course here at Sheffield Hallam. The MH Food Engineering course is very broad in nature, so currently they're working on lots of different areas. And you also do reverse engineering, don't you? We so do. this is so this is an example of reverse engineering. In reverse engineering, what we basically do is we take a pre-engineered equipment from the food industry and we open it up and we analyze everything that has been done to manufacture that product and then we see how we can improve it ourselves and what food safety aspects it has and how it can help or damage food in the food industry. And one of the, one of the key points of this specific area of the module is delivered by a very experienced engineer from the food industry so he comes in as a, a visiting lecturer and spends time with you and I think yeah. that's been a, a very good a very good experience yeah the city of Sheffield itself is an amazing place to be in because it's not a really big city like London but it's got a good mix of city life and countryside as well and it's quiet when you want it to be quiet and it's really lively when you want it to be lively well it's really amazing because before I came here, before I, I was in India, it was really different back there. Over here you have everything on the website that's called Shoe Space and literally everything is just one click away. You want your lecture notes, they're just a click away and you can refer to them whenever you want. And you want your assignments, they're just a click away. You want to contact your tutors, just a click away. Yeah, well, I think that's one of the key points that as an institution we're really keen to put students at the forefront and we really care about the students and their success. Another point actually about SHU is the amount of employer engagement we get and this is across the institution as a whole, but this is more specific for food engineering. So for food engineering, employers have been at the forefront of developing this. So from the start, employers were involved uh, and they've been involved all the way through. So yeah. you've, you've had quite a lot of contact with the employers, so can yeah. you talk a little bit about I've just done a placement with Kellogg's for three months and that placement starts next month so I'm pretty excited about it and I've been in contact with uh, the people at Kellogg's and they're helping me out with moving to Manchester for three months and it's going to be a pretty good experience uh, and we also have guest lectures so every other week there's someone from industry that comes in uh, and, and gives a guest lecture uh, did you have a favorite yes cargo was my favorite for that one because I'm really interested in how alcohol is made and Cargill was really spot on on that lecture there because it showed me how alcohol is made in the UK and because my family owns businesses in alcohol in India I can really relate to it and compare between the two. We also have um, the industry come in to do employability so one of the key points that for this subject area around food engineering is employability is, is really at the heart of it. But for us, we, we've embedded employability throughout. So instead of the career service or me saying this is how you CV, do a CV, the actual industry come in. Yeah. So you had a CV session, didn't you? Yeah, we had HR managers come from all the companies and they helped us with how to produce your own CV and how they pick people from the people who apply to their companies. So they told us how a really good CV should look like and we've done exactly that to earn our placements. And, and you, you were successful? Yes, we were. Because this is one of the key points, that it's a guaranteed paid placement. So all the yeah. students undertaking the course are guaranteed a placement. Uh, and there's three placements, so there's two short ones for three months, and then a longer one that's embedded within the actual delivery of the course for six months. Yeah. So Canal's about to start his first placement. Yeah. And looking forward to it. I am.